What's up, everybody? Welcome to the ATQ Tubes for Thursday. Uh, Oregon taking on Arizona State tonight at 6 o'clock. Um, some keys to the game for you. First, for the Oregon offense, uh, the key is going to be to slow down or stop Will Sutton. Uh, the ASU defensive lineman has been an absolute nuisance so far this season. He's got eight and a half sacks on the year. I got to see him live uh, when ASU took on Cal, and he absolutely lived in the Golden Bears' backfield. Um, it's not like Cal needs a whole lot of help to mess up their offense anyway, uh, but Will Sutton absolutely took them and threw them around a bunch and got Zach Maynard all out of sorts, and ASU had no problem winning that game. Uh, so uh, it's going to be paramount that Oregon stops Will Sutton, prevents him from getting in the backfield. We've seen that the Chip Kelly offense has problems with um, big-time defensive linemen. So this could be a problem if Will Sutton's allowed to um, to run free. They'll line him up at end, they'll line him up at tackle, they're gonna move around a lot to try and get favorable matchups um, and try and get him, uh, give him a chance to make some plays. So the entire offensive line needs to be on notice. As far as stopping Arizona State's offense, uh, Taylor Kelly, ASU quarterback, um, very capable game manager, um, he's a good decision maker, he goes through his progressions, he makes uh, high percentage throws, uh, but he's not going to wow anybody with his athleticism. Um, the real athletes <clears throat> for ASU are in the run game uh, with DJ Foster and Cameron Marshall, so stopping those two, um, forcing ASU into some third and longs and making Taylor Kelly uh, put the game on his back is going to give uh, Oregon's defense um, the best chance to win as well as um, rendering Michael Eubank ineffective when he comes in to run more of their dual threat package. Uh, and the last key is really going to be to play mistake free. I mean, clearly this is a key for every game, but this is especially um, apparent for ASU. Uh, both units, offense and defense, uh, they're not going to commit stupid penalties. This is not the Dennis Erickson, Vontaze Perfect. ASU team where they could be counted on to shoot themselves in the foot at least a couple times a game. Um, Todd Graham has this team playing penalty free, um, not making a whole lot of mistakes and forcing the opponents to really be disciplined and play efficiently in order to win. And so that's what it's going to take. <clears throat> Some key players uh, for Oregon tonight, uh, obviously Marcus Mariota, his first Thursday game, his first true road test. Um, so Mariota having a good game, not making mistakes, especially early, um, is going to be a key. But also, I think I'll extend that further into the rest of the true freshmen making their first true road game in the Pac-12, uh, whether it's Braylon Addison, Dwayne Stanford, and especially Eric Armstead and DeForest Buckner. If Isaac Remington is unavailable for this game, uh, Armstead and Buckner will really have to step up um, and replace Remington's productivity. Uh, so... The two of them really coming into their own and um, staying poised on a national Thursday night stage is um, going to be something I'm going to be watching for. And the other player that I'm going to pay especially close attention to is DeAnthony Thomas. Um, there's been a lot written about him, especially this week. I wrote about him. Rob Mosley wrote about him. I'm sure other much less important Oregon writers wrote about him too, but really it's me and Rob Mosley. Those are the, you know, those, that's the A-list, right? Um, but DeAnthony Thomas, he's been very quiet the past few games. Uh, he's getting, you know, still around 10 touches a game. Um, and I would like to see, you know, his workload increase. I think it will as the season rolls along, um, especially uh, not having, uh, or excuse me, having the backups playing in the second half has been something that has uh, hurt his numbers a bit. Um, and really just on reputation alone, he's sort of holding on to those Heisman Trophy hopes. Um, but this is a game on a national stage where he can either have a coming out party where he really puts himself into the Heisman conversation or his chances can really be done for the year. Uh, Arizona State has their own version of DeAnthony Thomas in DJ Foster, um, a speed guy, big play potential, also catches a lot of passes out of the backfield. Foster is ASU's second leading receiver right now. Uh, and if Foster outplays DeAnthony Thomas tonight, I definitely think we can kiss those Heisman Trophy hopes goodbye. Uh, so have fun watching the game tonight, whether you're going to be there in Tempe or you're watching at home, watching at a bar, uh, whatever your methods are. Um, 
We'll be here cheering on our Ducks. Uh, stay tuned to Addicted to Quack. Join us in the game thread tonight. Uh, go Ducks, and we'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.